Welcome to the special webbikeworld.com quick video illustrating a prototype of the Akuma Gemini tint on demand visor. Please visit webbikeworld.com for more information and detailed photos of this product and many more. We first reported on the Akuma electrochromatic visor back in February of 2008 where we shot some video of a prototype in action at the 2008 Power Sports Dealer Expo in Indianapolis. Akuma has evolved that initial design, and they now have incorporated an incredible tint-on-demand e-tint technology that provides an instantaneous on-off tint to the visor. This is a prototype of the new Gemini visor that serves as a testbed for the technology. We had only a few minutes to video this one, and as you can see, there's nothing up my sleeve here. Press the waterproof button on the left side of the visor, and it turns the tinting on and off. We're not exactly sure how the e-tint technology works, but it's incorporated into an insert that's attached to the inside of the visor, applied much like a Fog City insert. We can't show you the electronics, but they consist of a very tiny and thin circuit board panel on the back side of the visor under the button, and the electronics include a tiny battery that Akuma says will provide an incredible 30 hours of tint on a single charge. The battery is so small I can't even identify it on the circuit board. The red plug you can see will attach to the Akuma Helmets recharger that powers the battery in the Akuma Helmets that have the LED flashlight and LED rear lights. The Gemini visor will be available in different colored tints, and besides the e-tint technology, the insert also provides an anti-fog capability. The Gemini visor will be available first for Akuma Helmets only, then possibly as a replacement visor for other brands of helmets. The plans are to release the Gemini Tint on Demand visor at the 2009 Power Sports Dealer Expo in Indianapolis, and you can be sure that we'll bring you the full report as this interesting and groundbreaking new technology evolves. We have more specifics on the Akuma Gemini Tint on Demand visor on webbikeworld.com, so be sure to check it out. Also, here's a quick look at the new Akuma Aegis visor on the right. It's covered with grease, wax, and permanent marker. The Aegis visor is on sale right now for Akuma helmets. Here we're rubbing the permanent marker on the plain visor on the left. You can see it easily sticks to the visor surface. On the Aegis visor, you can see that it doesn't stick at all. The permanent marker ink just beads up. Akuma says that the Aegis visor has the latest and best anti-fog capabilities in the industry, along with an anti-scratch coating. Here's a close-up of the permanent marker again. You can see it doesn't stick to the Aegis visor surface while on the plain visor it makes a real mess. Why is this? It's because the Aegis visor is hydrophobic, that is, it repels water. So water beads up and flows off very easily, and it makes the visor surface very easy to clean. Here's a micro fleece towel. It has basically no effect on the plain visor, but a few swipes on the Aegis hydrophobic visor and it cleans right up. These features are not normally found on a mirrored visor. So that's the webbikeworld.com quick video tour of a prototype Akuma Gemini tint-on-demand motorcycle helmet visor and the Akuma Aegis hydrophobic visor. Be sure to visit webbikeworld.com for more information and photos of these products and for many more motorcycle product reviews and information. Thanks for watching.